house. Let me close my window. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about PewDiePie. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, that little bit. Just, I just have no clue. But we're going to talk about PewDiePie, regardless. So, if you are a fan of PewDiePie, which you probably are because he has 52 million subscribers, you should probably know that he's been getting a lot of hate lately by multiple sources, one being his fans and two being the media. And then there are people like me. A little backstory, I didn't like PewDiePie in the very beginning. I didn't like his gameplay videos. In fact, the video he posted today, which is 2014 PewDiePie is back, I thought it was very badish. I laughed here and there, but for the most part I didn't really enjoy it. I don't know if I just don't like gameplay videos or if I didn't like that gameplay video, but not a fan of gameplay videos really, unless if it's like John Tron. But he adds a lot of skits and it's not so much gameplay, more reviews. So he's been getting a lot of hate. And if we look on the media, on the media, on Google, and then we look up news, because that's how I look at my media. PewDiePie paid two Indian men to hold sign. So, I actually seen this video and I guarantee it's a bad article. YouTube, PewDiePie paid two Indian men to hold up a sign, read Death to All Jews last week. He thought the video would be funny, but it upset fans and threatened the livelihood of all involved. See, I don't necessarily agree with that. I mean, threaten the livelihood of all involved. I just, I don't really think that's the case. Sorry, I was reading. I was reading. All right. So, was it a little offensive? Yeah, it was offensive. But in his defense, he can't control what two individuals decide to do or don't do because you can decide not to do the the video for five dollars. That that was the point of the website, I believe. Well, not the point. The point is to get a quick service for five dollars. But he he explained that there were people that said that they won't do it, and that's all. So, I'm not saying he's not responsible at all, but, you know, he, he was trying to get a quick gag. I thought it was pretty funny. I exited out. Don't even know how to spell his name. PewDiePie begs for forgiveness for victims of offense. <laughs> I don't saw him beg for forgiveness. I saw him explain that he thought it he thought it was funny but in hindsight there were things he shouldn't do and that if he did something wrong he should be held accountable that's not really begging for forgiveness but you know it, it's it's all about like you see begs and you're like oh gotta read that article you click on it because you see begs for forgiveness victims of offensive death to all you know, dot dot dot. You want to read the rest. That's a it's a clickbait title. That's what they do. PewDiePie asks Fivor to open. Oh, Fivor! Wow. PewDiePie asks Fivor to unban dancers after they post. I didn't know that they were banned. Oh, is that just the news saying they won? I'm not going to go to the website to verify if they were banned or not. PewDiePie's death to all Jews prank cost two people their jobs. Okay, again. See, now that is probably more reliable of a link, but it's not necessarily PewDiePie's fault. They had the option to do it or not. They could have said no. They, had, they didn't have to take $5. If their business was running that well, I mean, they're on 5 all, so they're only making $5 each video they make. So if their business, and again, I don't know how much you make, I don't really research it, but if their business was really that good, they should have thought like, ah, uh, should we do this video? Because it could get a lot of hate. That's just my opinion. I mean, if I was running that business and I was making a lot of money, I don't think I'd make that video. Is PewDiePie of a watch video of you? Oh man, these titles. They're so bad. 
and it just it, it is true the media is spinning his words or his actions so that they can make a title so I get paid just like pretty much everyone on the internet so like I said I was never really a big fan of PewDiePie until recently I have liked his current content like for the last two years maybe I've really enjoyed his content um, the first time I saw him, well, before I explain that, I didn't like him before because I believe that the whole gist of him was it was for, like, younger generations, like middle schools and before, not so much generations, but the age, that age group. And my girlfriend, little sister, enjoyed his content, so, and she was, like, a freshman at the time, so I was like, oh, not... <laughs> not for me. And she showed me a video and I didn't enjoy it because it was just a gameplay video and him saying jokes. Like I said, I don't like gameplay videos. So he had that title, like, to me and to all the age groups. He had that you're young if you like him kind of attitude. That's how I felt, at least. But then I saw a recommended video. It was Keemstar reacts to PewDiePie being running drama a lot and I saw that video and I fast forward a bit and I was like wow this content's pretty funny then I saw his uh, my new Koa video which I found hilarious and then pretty much from there on I've been watching his content and as long as not gameplay even some of the gameplay videos I find very funny I think he's evolving which is good and he's staying true to himself and what I mean by that is he's not making content that he doesn't enjoy doing as he stayed in his videos. He could be doing gameplay videos and he'd be getting probably way more views because that's what people want to see. But instead he's making content uh he's making content that makes him feel better about himself. Well not. He's making content that makes him happy. What I'm trying to say is just because he's changing his content, I don't think it's a bad thing. I actually think it's a good thing and I've been watching his content a lot more. I am subscribed to him because his content, again, I enjoy it now. And I don't think the media should continue making these clickbait titles, but they're going to continue because that's how they're getting paid. I mean, come on. Also, peep these new glasses. My last glasses were broke. I got actually, in, when I was editing, I saw you could see the crack, and I was hoping I wouldn't be noticeable, but I had to get new glasses. And I'm just kind of dragging on. So I'm going to close this video. So let me know what you think about PewDiePie. Are you enjoying his new content or not? Have you been a fan of him or do you just refuse to watch him? If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe to me, follow me on that Twitter, and, you know, have a good day. See you next time. Peace.